Good morning, folks. We've got three excellent papers to see today. Solar forcing, the problem with science, and the sun and earthquakes. We've also seen several eruptive events on our star the last 24 hours, and that is where we will begin. The eruptions won't be hard to spot, mostly filament releases with a few solar flares in there as well. It began with the filament on the north we saw yesterday morning, followed by smaller eruptions around the limbs. None appear to have significant Earth-directed components. There were a total of three M-class flaring events, but those are not the meat of the eruptive activity. That came from the plasma filaments. We'll watch this one on the north here first. Watch how it destabilizes, builds slowly, and then crosses the threshold and is destined for the vastness of space. The larger the filament, the more we see this slow buildup, while the smaller ones tend to have much more rapid and unanticipated eruptive features, like this one here. Looking ahead a bit, the sunspots are still relatively stable and are turning through. Biggest grouping is spread magnetically, with the more complex active regions being much smaller on the north. You may notice there is a lack of sunspots incoming from the left. That is because that region holds the next large coronal hole, which we can see here. We'll have eyes on the sunspots, filaments, and in a few days, the solar wind amplification due to this coronal hole. Now, let's go to the articles. Up first... Why not? We've seen a surge in solar forcing of precipitation papers this year, so let's add one more to the list today. They found sunspot number to be the number one predictor of rainfall, with second place being ENSO, the El Nino cycle, which happens to be one of the few large-scale oscillations the IPCC actually admits is forced by the sun. So kind of a double solar forcing whammy there. But speaking of the IPCC and problems in science, if you want to read a scientist, absolutely lambasting mainstream scientist, you should check this one out. The propagandized cover-up and misdirection machine that denies solar forcing and several other important scientific revelations is righteously slain in this work. It is obviously in your link list below. Lastly, folks, a nice Christmas gift of solar forcing of seismic activity. This is on the slightly longer time scale where solar storms create additional radiation belts and the footprints of those belts to the surface is where the bigger earthquakes occur in the following weeks to months. All of our own work on solar forcing of earthquakes is over the very short term, but ones like this are potentially just as important. Solar energy injected directly into the crust and earthquakes follow. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.